Okay. All right, the purpose of this briefing is to give you an update in respect to the murder of 21-year-old William Holbach, who was sadly murdered in Bar Powell Street, Welland, at about 1.21 this morning. William's commonly called Will by his family and people who love him, um, and uh, his family are obviously devastated by what's occurred overnight. The death of Will will be declared a major crime, and the investigation is currently being led by major crime investigation branch and being supported um, by other areas from across SAPOL, including Western District detectives. Since the early hours of this morning, there's been up to 50 police officers working on this investigation across the metropolitan area, and it's going extremely well at this stage. What we now know is that at about 120, some mu musicians who were practicing in industrial premises nearby heard screaming and shouting, and after a little while went outside to investigate and found Will lying on the road critically injured. They did their best in what would have been extremely difficult circumstances for them to deliver first aid and contact emergency services. We now know that Will had arranged to meet somebody at the eastern end of Musgrave Street near Bar Powell Street and that Will had walked from his home at Flinders Park about a kilometre away. Along that way he'd been carrying a skateboard and he arrived at the location um, before the people he was going to meet. Shortly after he got there a car arrived and there was communication between Will and the occupants of that car and we know that that conversation became heated. As a result, Will ran from the car back along Musgrave Street, a very short distance, and then south on Bar Powell Street, pursued by a man from that vehicle. We know that that man uh, caught up with Will and ultimately is responsible for Will's murder about halfway along Bar Powell Street. Within moments, the driver of the vehicle uh, did a U-turn where he was parked and then turned left to go south on Bar Powell Street and stopped a little way along that street and the offender ran back to the vehicle, got into the passenger side and that vehicle was last seen travelling west along Musgrove Street. The, we have various images of the car some of the images are not good, so it's very difficult to tell the colour, and the colour varies in that those CCTV images subject to the lighting and the cameras that we use to record it. But we're confident that it's a four-door sedan. It has a sunroof and mag wheels, and is dark coloured, so it could be silver, it could be black, it could be dark blue, we're not really sure. Um, I can say the investigation is still in its infancy, and we have a lot of resources committed to this investigation and I'm confident of a result um, um, down the track with this job, but it's going to take a little while. I'm happy to take questions. Do you know why Will was there meeting that group of people? It's not certain, um, but given that it's 1.20 in the morning, given that it's a remote location in an industrial area, it, it has all the appearance of a clandestine meeting, and that, together with some other information we've obtained, makes us believe that it was to do with either a drug deal or the recovery of money. Do you have an idea how Will was killed? Yeah, we know that Will was stabbed. What's your reaction to this crime that could happen and in the way that it has? Oh, look, these people, these people are pathetic. You know, they've taken a young man's life and I think that when we get to the bottom of it, it will be just a senseless murder for something trivial. You know, nothing is solved by violence. They destroy the lives of his family and ultimately they destroy their own lives because we are going to find the person responsible and he will go to jail for a long, long time. Do you have any further details on the relationship between these people? We're not sure of the relationship, but clearly there is a relationship because Will and that person or well, those people were in contact before to arrange the meeting. So it's likely he's drug-related? It's not 100%, but given that it appears and has all the hallmarks of a secret meeting in a remote area where nobody will see you, and sadly, um, Will's made some foolish decisions and has used drugs at different times. He's not a bad person. He's just made 
some bad decisions in relation to using drugs. Has the police been able to find the body yet? Uh, not at this stage. In terms of Willie, have you got a, any ties or anything like that? No, nah, he comes from a decent family. He's, um, as I say, he's not a bad person. Um, he's simply made the bad decision that a lot of our young people make um, to use drugs, and, and sadly, it looks like that's cost him his life. Was there any altercations leading up beforehand when they were at the car involving the skateboard? I don't know whether there was a, a the skateboard was involved in an altercation there or whether something else or whatever, but it was clear that voices became raised and people were angry. Thank you. All right. Thank you.